Hi, so today we are going to clean the carburetor on a Zon DOD 105 lawn tractor with a brake and Stratton and tack ends and 17.5 horsepower. Um, it doesn't run, it doesn't run, it sputters when it's running. And my dad uh, wants me to try cleaning carburetor, although I don't think that'll fix it. Figure I might as well since he bought the carburetor cleaner. And I think I'll make a video of this because I have never made a video of cleaning carburetor. See, I'm. Uh, let's try to get a higher. Got to choke it, I guess. Part choke, it's kind of better for summertime. Say. You can buy your soaking some. It's not bad soaking all the time. And it lasts since I'm a while, but it's definitely a soaking. Idles terribly. I don't like these intact engines, they're not good. In fact, they're bad. It's a necky way on the car bio. I'm gonna see what happens when we clean it. So let's get it up. There's my bus saw D410. Cleaned this car bio yesterday, working on repairing it, getting it running. Doesn't run at the moment. I've never had it running before, I could bought it a few days ago, non running. I'm gonna fix it. Cigars. Die hard battery. Obviously, no, actually, I see it was die hard. One of them newfangled fakes. But we're gonna take out these two bolts here first. So let's find the right size. Okay. I'll pause the video if I can't find the right size. These bring straight in intact. I'm not a very good engine. Okay, I think I know what size we need. Uses a 38 cent socket. So I'm gonna take out these two bolts. Um, connect them bolts out. See, it gotta be cute as the whole muffler. Cause just it. I haven't actually ever cleaned an intact carburetor before, but most of these carburetors are all pretty similar. Design. And considering I've cleaned a Zayt, Zane with Bandex carburetor from the 60s and some 2000s or some new carburetors too. I think I have some good experience. Now we're going to get off these two houses. That's the gas line, so all gas will spill out. I won't have to worry about all the gas coming out because it's got a fuel pump. If it doesn't have a fuel pump, like if it's gravity free, where we get fuel tank right there, you will have all the gas run out, so make sure you don't like spill it on the muffler or anything, because I guess it might blow up or something. And this has a fuel sawed off solenoid. Sometimes you'll just have a little bolt on the bottom of that and no solenoid. Uh, at least I guess that's the case with these Entex. At least that's definitely the case with some, a lot of them, since I don't know if it's the case with this. So we'll just be unplugging. Make sure I suck the hood. I don't want any water getting into this. And you had to notice, you had, of course, you had to take off the breather there. Filter. Oh, that's disintegrating a little. This uh, is the IO tone hose for the gas tank. If you want me. This is just uh, your ordinary, fairly ordinary float carburetor. I'm using. I know I'm using some wire strappers here incorrectly using, but you can just use pliers, needle nose pliers. I, either of those will do the job. Maybe even better. It's a big opening there, I gotta admit these are what foul ends inside. So less wasteful of their uh, displacement than the old flat ends are. But I don't like how unreliable these are. 
So I gotta pry that off of me. Okay, and you're just gonna notice that this is built for a separate choke. They could put a cable there, connect right there. But you're just gonna unhook both of these. All those from the throttle. So let me see if I can loosen them up and put some in there. No, that'll pull it tighter. <laughs> okay. So these just you see they're just wrapped around, you can just kinda of wiggle them and come get them come out. And the one back there's also a hose right there, a great case breather. See all I need to pry that off. I'm not bothering. There's also a screw right there. Um, so if you can see it beside there, you know. Yeah, as I said, I've never cleaned one of this carburetor before. No, I know. Moved it and I did, found a few things. So you gotta take off this breather. And it was right here, so you gotta get behind it, take out the nut. There's also a nut there. And I th behind this, there was a little rubber gasket like this one. It fell out, so keep an eye on those. Also keep an eye on that one, it might fall out too. And that's about, no, I just gotta wiggle off those connectors, throttle linkage. And don't mess with any of those adjustment screws. I mean, they may need adjusting, but better to avoid adjusting, adjust, having to adjust them if you okay, can. So they got that off. Just had to wiggle those. The child connect one connected here. Goes right there, as you can see. So you don't, you gotta avoid, that might fall out. Make sure you know where what position it's in so you can slip it back in. Because you're going to have to take it out anyway to get it unhooked. And then when this guy is pushed up all the way, the top of it's going to whack that, I think. Soap. So now we got to actually clean the carburetor. I'm going to see how does that come out. I should just be able to pry that off the connector off the screw. Wiggle off the connector with screw. Like, you could use some pliers or whatever. And here's... Carburetor, we're gonna go and clean it now. Keep dough out of those holes. Keep dough out of that. And now I'm gonna put the this air filter under the hood. And I'm gonna leave that out in case it rains. I'm gonna have to clean it off a bit. And so, uh, um, wait a minute. All these air. You know, let's put it back in there. Filter back there. And leave this in. And I just had a good thought. Take the key out. You don't need my cranking that trying to start it. Might draw in some dirt. And these. Oh, these bolts. I'll put. I got all the noise in here. There's my brother doing hammering on something. I can't tell. It looks like you may be nailing a tool to this table. What are you doing? Oh, you're making a hanger for that. Will it come off? Uh, Okay, so we're gonna. You know how I hang this? Yeah. So to get this off, we're gonna. I'm gonna take a wrench and take out. Well, you can grip these. Take out both of these rods here. Put that off, and now we're finally to the actual carburetor. So now we're finally to the carburetor. Now we need to clean it. So we're gonna strip it down. Don't take that out or anything. You're gonna take out that screw. And that screw, and then the carburetor will be opened. There's some gas in it, probably, so look out, it's gonna spill. Okay, yeah. So, I've got it open. These screws are extremely tight. You may have to take some vice scraps as it'll just squeeze them in and tone it, because this screw is getting strapped. If you don't have vice scrap pliers, locking pliers, you may have to find something else, but we may just have not be able to get it open. But this one screws all right. So I'm gonna see if I can find a new one to place this one with. Yeah. Actually, I'm not sure if I, I won't worry about that. I could probably get it tight again. So we're gonna clean it out now. Doesn't look very messy, but I'm gonna go ahead and do all the things I do when I'm cleaning a carburetor. Although, my dad said I should try this. I don't think I need to, but I will. It clean it anyway, and I can just make a video. I've been wanting to make a video. I've cleaned several carburetors. That my was one that I cleaned it on. Didn't run. Okay, so we're gonna. I said taking a part in there. Not think about it. Now well, let's take it apart out here. So we're gonna push out this pen. And that means we can get this off. There's the, don't lose this. 
This is the thing, I don't know what it's called, but it's the thing for setting off the field vlog. There's in that little hole there, so I'm just going to take both of those out. And there's, there's the start. It's the solenoid thing in there. So now we're going to just be spraying into all the jets. See, can we turn this and move it? Yes. Because we want to spray out these areas. Now we're just going to get out. You see all the little holes? All of them you're going to spray into with carburetor, child control, body cleaner. So be careful not to get out the spray on your tunes. All these little nooks, grannies, holes. Spray them. All boats have been sprayed off with carburetor cleaner. Barry man, B12, come to Great stuff. It's about the greatest stuff around. So we're going to put this on here. And for some reason, putting this spot back on makes you line up this area with that hole that when you saw sprayed carburetor cleaner into here or into the hole, you saw it come out here because they connect. This makes you line those up like that. You can just look at the reference right here. It's going to be about directly beside that when you put that piece back on. Now, the float, that is a fine part of the float carburetor, obviously, since that's the name, that's what the carburetor is named after. So, this is hard to do with one hand, but I can do it, I guess. Because I feel like making a video without slip that in like that. And then you see, I'm just slipping into that slot. Just going to slide this down into here, and then, of course, as you saw when you took it apart, just put this rod in. And if you do want to do all this carburetor cleaning, or if the carburetor cleaning is not successful, just, you can buy a new carburetor, but try to avoid buying a Chinese knockoff. Try to buy a genuine Lives and Strand, it's probably going to be better. But maybe not a lot better, but better. If I were you, I would have bought a vintage car, in fact, with an auto bottle and one with an intact engine, but most people can't afford, well, they don't want a vintage car, in fact, of course. Now I'm just going to spray off this assembly. And we can assemble this part on that. And then I'm going to spray everything off, like it looks nice. And I would spray down there, of course. Together. Now I'll go grab the screws and screw it back together. Okay, it's reassembled. You can get those screws pretty tight, but you don't have to get them as tight as the big stratton I put made them. And I'm sprayed off the that part, but I'm not going to spray off that most of the outside. But let's go put it back on the mower now. Of course, you don't want to put together your cardboard. Go set up backwards, so. Got to put this on probably. So since this is on the outside, this will need to go like this. And make sure you have the choke and with that and all like that. And now I'll put it back together. Same way you took it off. Okay, we're gonna put it back on and hook that those on. I okay, got that hooked on like that. So it's we're gonna nice. put on that part yeah. before you bolt on either of these you put in the gas make sure the gaskets are on them. For the bolt it bolted on that's the air filter. Bolt it on, throttle linkage connected and all. It's got a few things left to do. We'll connect this house here. And this I was here, and then put on the clip. Take a minute ago. Oh goodness, can we get it on there? Oh, yeah. it just put on the air filter. My me is putting on this. <laughs> it's I almost time I, to test. I had wondered why why that looks so weird. Now let's see if he runs any better. Super cheap, yes. Why well, does look kind of sleek? Yeah, but it may look stupid yeah. it's different. Okay, it's so different. all this is set up. It should run fine now. I've tightened the bolts. Well, I shouldn't say it should. I think there's got probably something else wrong with this ear motor. But at least this may help. Let me move my tools a bit in case he blows up. Actually, a long time ago, I might would be scared he was going to blow up. I'm 99.99% so he will not do that. And if he does, that will be very scary. Let's see. Yeah. Where you? What? See now, we're on. A little battle. Yeah. 
is running better than he had, guys. Well, that's an improvement, isn't it? Uh oh, he's battling. He's battling, he's battling. Not much different, but it is an improvement. Let's check the oil. It's obviously a terrible lens. Um, looks fine. Mm. Mm. Let me just do a professional test. Do you not do do not? So I have showed you now how to clean the carburetor. Although I did not really expect it to make a difference on this. At least you've seen how it's done. Like I had said. I didn't think this would help this stupid enzyme. Let's just see what happens if we can wet the mixture a little Mom on the car. Walmart would say that it didn't. It, it wasn't making a difference because you would say that you it wasn't done. It didn't look like it did. <laughs> Let's see if that, and we just <laughs> unwet the mixture. Say! That's better! Well, I'm letting the mix so help a little. This is an absolutely terrible mile, mile over here, but let's park it now. At least you've seen how it's done. It's stalled. At least you've seen how it's done, people. Make sure you run smooth still in my way. Yes. I would say he runs a little better. Yes. Hey, that table's gone here. Look, maybe Dad's gonna build a shelter right here. I'd like I that. I had it till now. Okay. So, bye bye. That's a terrible mile. Oh yeah. yeah. So I think the carburetor cleaning I did did help because now at the moment he's running smoothly now. I think it may have cleaned it out, just cleaned it out from like help help loosen some deposits that then got cleaned out as I was mowing with it. But it's still there's something wrong with the carburetor's idle link. It will throttle link ends, I think. We take careful note when you remove and install it, make sure you do it the same because I'm not sure what was, what's going on exactly. And then we... Now it's idling good because the video. Say! Just gave it a little push to make it idle. I don't know why it's doing that, but it is. It's a 
Ron's battle. Gas line, Tom's one. Gas line? Mm.